What we're shipping today is this Waterford Crystal Drinking Goblet. Uh, it's marquee for Waterford um, because it's got the stem um, and it's, it's fairly fragile. We want to make sure that that gets to the customer in one piece. So to start, the size of the box is really important. Now, typically we ship our mugs in a 7x7x6. Seven by seven by we have those that we buy online for ground advantage, but you can also get them free from the postal service if you're shipping priority. Now for this particular goblet, uh, it's taller than a normal mug, so we're using the 8x8x8, eight eight eight, and that's going to ensure that it has adequate packaging on each side. So to start off, we just get our box put together. So that's the easy part, set that aside. And then generally with something like this, I, I kind of do a, a two layered approach. I use the small bubble wrap, you can see that. So then what we're gonna do is roll this up. And the smaller bubble wrap just provides um, more densely packed protection for the inner layer. So we'll wrap this up. Ensuring we have adequate protection around there. Now we know we have that's an eight by eight by eight. So just kind of looking at that, we've got about seven inches of protection. So we're gonna have a nice amount on top and bottom. So we'll fit that in there and we actually want that where we have to press it down. But I do have some extra space around the edges and I want to make sure that that's filled in. Okay, so there we go. So you'll see it actually has a little bit of a dome and I do that because I like to give that that extra protection. So if anything heavy hits this, right, it's, it's going to press down on that. So hopefully that's helpful as you move forward in shipping breakables. Just wanted to do a public service announcement and add to this video and talk a little bit about shipping glassware in winter time when we're especially when we're experiencing such extreme temperatures all across the country so you may know this but what we have started to try to do um, this time of year is if we're shipping glassware or breakables we try to um, message our buyer and let them know that glassware can be very sensitive to extreme changes in temperature so one of the best things that you can do is let your buyer know that when they receive their package to let it acclimate without opening it in their house for at least 24 hours before opening it. And that's especially with old glass. It might take a little bit, you know, less time, but it's just a warning, kind of a heads up you can give your buyer to help avoid any kind of problem. So the problem happens that, you know, the, the box is in a cold truck it's on a cold front porch, people bring it in, they're excited, they open it, they're in a warm house and boom, the, the glassware can break. It can also happen if they open it and too quickly wash it, right? They might put it under hot water or something like that and it can definitely break. I've had that happen with some Itala glassware that we sent out to someone. Kind of a very strange way it broke as well, but that was the only thing we could think of. She said when she washed it, it broke. And so I am, I think it had to do with some temperature changes that it went through. 
Anywho, just wanted to share that to shoot a message to your buyer when you're shipping, just kind of give them that reminder and hopefully they'll be able to enjoy their glassware for many more years to come. Also, we are going to be doing more shipping videos in the future. Some of them will be mixed into our what sold videos and some will be standalone videos like this one. As always, we're going to try to link as many of the products that we use in our shipping or in our listing as possible down in the description. So if you want to know where we get our boxes or we get our tape or we get our bubble wrap, things like that, it's just a small way to support our channel or even maybe give you a lead onto a supplier that we've had success dealing with. Okay. Hope you guys are doing great and staying warm and we'll talk to you later.